Our message title for this evening is Mary's Baby. Mary's Baby. And our scripture references will be taken from the book of Luke. We'll be reading the first chapter, verses 26 through 38. We also will be looking at the book of 2 Kings, the 19th chapter, the third verse. And also we'll be looking at Isaiah, the 66th chapter, and the ninth verse. Mary's Baby. And obviously, from the title, we know we'll be talking about Mary's baby, and Mary's baby was Jesus Christ. You know, and I, I sometimes, I sometimes uh, 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 try to put my, my mind in Mary's mind. Everybody, everybody's clamoring over this child. But in Mary's mind, it was just her baby. Just her baby. She had no idea or no way of knowing the magnitude of, the baby she was carrying. (laughs) Even after the angel visited her, I'm sure in her mind, it didn't compute. (laughs) Mary's baby. The enormity of that, and just looking in retrospect, the whole world is clamoring over Mary's baby. (laughs) The whole world is either loving him or hating him. Mary's baby. The whole world, a baby. For Mary, it was just her baby. Now I want to go back and I want to walk with Mary through her pregnancy and through this whole ordeal, Mary's baby. And I'll begin reading in the first chapter of the book of Luke, and we'll be reading at this 26th verse, and we'll be learning about Mary's baby. And the Bible says, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that are highly favored, the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father, David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. And so as we see this scene, we've read it many times. Generally, we'll read it at Christmas. But I want to live this scene. The Bible says that Mary was a young virgin, a spouse to a man named Joseph. (laughs) She was engaged. Mary was excited about life. Mary was about to be married. She was about to be married. And I can imagine how she felt as a young girl just on top of the world. Things about to change for me. I'm about to be a a wife. And she's going about, I can see her making wedding plans. Just thinking about the marriage. Maybe she was getting marriage counseling. (laughs) Walking towards her marriage. Excited about life. And then in the midst of her excitement, An angel appeared. An angel. 
And this said this angel appeared, so it's not necessarily a dream. This angel appeared to her. And I don't know what this angel looked like, but she was afraid. Afraid. Here it is, this young girl, and she's looking at this angel. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe she's never seen an angel before. What is an angel doing here? And he's, he's standing before me. The Bible said it was the angel Gabriel. I don't know how big he was. I didn't know what he looks like, but it troubled her. She was afraid. And I can imagine, why, why, why is this angel, why is this angel here? <laughs> and I, I'm sure she can feel it. It was a holy angel. It was something of God. But why is it in front of me? Why isn't it down there at the temple? Why isn't this angel going to those uh, women uh, in the temple, uh, those priestesses and all of that? Why isn't the angel going there? And the Bible said, uh, this angel, as if he recognized uh, Mary's fear, he said, fear not. Fear not. And I can imagine her looking at this angel now and taking a deep breath. This angel said, don't be afraid, Mary. And then he said, he said these words to her. He said, you are highly favored. Favored? Me? I, I, I'm just Mary. I'm just, I'm just a simple little girl. Why, why is this angel, uh, 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 do, do, do you have the wrong person? Maybe you wanted my mother. Or maybe you wanted uh, Elizabeth or, or, or somebody else. What, what, do you, what do you mean, highly favored? No, Mary, I got the right one. You are highly favored. But I've done nothing. I've accomplished nothing in life. I'm not even married yet. How could I be favored? How can I be favored? And then he said, Mary... You're going to conceive a son. You're going to be pregnant. You're going to bring forth a son. And Mary's jumping back, astonished. What do you mean? What do you mean, a son? What do you mean, pregnant? What do you mean? <laughs> and, then, and then the angels start to tell her about this child. He said, Mary, not only are you going to receive, a, or not only are you going to give birth to a son, but his name is going to be Jesus, Mary. And this Jesus, and this Jesus, uh, 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 he's going to begin to make change in the world. Mary, Mary, this child that you're carrying, or that you're going to carry, this child, kings are going to bow to him. Rulers are going to bow to him. Mary, if only you can see in 2,000 years, the whole world is going to be clamoring around your baby. Mary. People are going to live and die by that thing that's going to be in your womb, Mary. And I can see Mary trying to wrap her mind around that. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean, kings and, and my people are going to be blessed by something that's going to be inside of me? And then Mary began to put some things together in her mind. And Mary says... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I hear everything you're saying, but uh, 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 this can't be. This can't be. I knew there had to be some type of mistake here. Mary said, because, because how could this be seeing that I know not a man? I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. So I can't, I can't have a child being a virgin. How can these things be? As wonderful as you call them, the natural thing that needs to take place for me to be this has not taken place. <laughs> and the angel said, Mary, that thing that's going to be born of you, it's not going to be a man's ingenuity. Mary, you're not going to carry Joseph's child. Mary, Mary, uh, that thing that's, that's going to be of you, the, 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 the Holy Ghost is going to descend upon you. <laughs> and, and you're going to be pregnant by the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is going to overshadow you, and that's going to create something in your womb, Mary. <laughs> it's not going to be through natural ingenuity. It's not going to be anything natural or normal about this. Holy Ghost will overshadow you. And I could hear Mary, and she's churning these thoughts in her mind, and she's recognizing I'm talking to an angel. 
And something about it in her, in her, it struck something with her. And Mary, Mary, not quite understanding it all. Mary said, behold, the handmaid of the Lord. I'm just, I'm just a lowly servant of the Lord, but be it unto me according to your word. Just because you said it, just because you said it, and the angel, the angel said this to her, with God, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is out of reach. And Mary just humbly bowed down. Be it unto me according to your word. And I believe at that moment, at that moment, the angel left her. And I believe at that moment, at that moment, Mary became pregnant. At that moment, something came on the inside of Mary, and Mary became pregnant. And I can see her going back, telling all her friends, something happened to me. There was an angel, and we had a conversation, and that angel said, I'm favored. He said, I'm special. That angel came and said, I'm highly favored of the Lord. He said, I'm special. And I can hear all her girlfriends saying, yeah, yeah. You're special, Mary. We're all special, Mary. No, no, but you don't understand. This angel said, I'm going to carry a baby. Mary. <laughs> Mary, I know, I know that you're about to get married. <laughs> and I know that you have dreams of carrying Joseph's baby. But Mary, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> you let your dreams drift you away, Mary. And it's a good thing, Mary. I know you want to be pregnant and you'll be pregnant, but Mary, you wasn't visited by an angel. I'm telling you, the angel spoke and I'm pregnant right now. Things are different and the baby, the child that's in me is going to change the world. Mary, you're delusional. Mary, you're just a young delusional girl. You got high hopes for your child. Okay, Mary. I'm pregnant now. I'm trying to tell you. Mary, you look the same today as you did yesterday. And I can see Mary looking down. But something's changed. Mary, you hadn't gained any weight. Mary, you look the same. And, Mary, and I can see Mary saying, I know you don't believe me. I know you don't believe me. I may not look like much on the outside. But there's something in me, and I feel it moving. I feel it kicking. I feel another heartbeat inside of me. You don't have to believe me, but something happened to me. And from that day, Mary walked as if she was pregnant. <laughs> Might look the same on the outside, but Mary walked as if she was present, pregnant. And when all the other girls did whatever they did, volleyball or whatever they did. Mary said, I can't do the things that I used to do because there's something in me. Come on, Mary, come over here and do that. No, I got to protect it. Something's in me. Mary, there's nothing in you. There's something in me. And I'm going to protect this child until I give him birth. He's going to be somebody special. And Mary had to change her diet. She said, I can't eat that. I can't eat that. Because I'm protecting something that's in me. I can't be involved in that. I can't be around that. Because I'm protecting something that's in me. And this went on for nine months. Nine months. And then Mary, Mary gave birth to this Jesus. And when she walked into the temple, uh, the people in the temple, they, they recognized that it was Jesus. And I, and I remember when she rode on the donkey and she's going through and she ended up in the manger and, and wise men from around the world came to, to, to meet her baby. And I can see her talking to those girls. I told you. I told you. I told you something was in me. I told you something was in me, and already the world is coming around to see there's something that's in me. I told you, I told you there was something special in me. I didn't look like much on the outside, but I told you I felt something moving. And Mary gave birth to the Christ, and the Christ has changed the world. And it's because of Mary's baby that we're here tonight. 
It's because of Mary's baby that we have a passion in our heart tonight. It's because of Mary's baby that millions of people are helped. It's because of Mary's baby that people are bowing the knee to Mary's baby, leaving to one day be in paradise with Mary's baby. As I read the Bible, these have stopped being just stories to me. I know that it's true, but, but even in the truth of the story, I, I, I need to see more. And I stop just seeing the Bible as stories, but I start seeing it as patterns. Because God said, because God, the Word says, He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. The way that He operates is the same. It's the same. It's the same principles then as the same principles today. It's the same. He doesn't change. This story is not about Mary. It's not about Mary. The story is about you. <laughs> the story is about me. <laughs> You've walked in Mary's shoes. Now you can walk in your own. <laughs> Mary done ran her race. She's in heaven now. And now we're here. It's not about Mary and her baby. It's about you. <laughs> it's about you, just an ordinary uh, girl, ordinary boy, ordinary man, ordinary woman, nothing special, <laughs> nothing special in ourselves. And maybe you got dreams and aspirations of what you're going to do in life. That's fine. You're walking on, and now you're visited by an angel. <laughs> You're visited in your heart by Jesus Christ, and, and the Spirit of God is tugging on your heart. And he said, hey, you that are favored, who, me? Yeah, you. But you don't understand, God, I'm in a mission. No, I'm talking to you. You're highly favored, but you don't understand the things that I did. No, I'm talking to you. You got aspirations in your life. I'm talking to you. You are highly favored. And, 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 and I'm going to make something out of you. You're going to change some things in your family. You're going to change some things in your society. I'm going to make something out of you. <laughs> but, 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 but how could this be? The thing that needs to take place for that to happen has not taken place. You see, God, I don't, I don't have a job. You see, God, I don't have the resources you see, God, I don't have the connections to be anybody. I don't have the education. I don't have the things that, that has to take place, just like Mary didn't have a, a man to come into her. And, and, and God said, God says, God says, this thing ain't going to be a man's ingenuity. This thing ain't going to be man's ingenuity. The Holy Ghost of God is going to come upon you and make you something that you've never been before. <laughs> and it's going to put something inside of you, inside of you, <laughs> something inside of you. And that something inside of you is going to be of God, and it's going to make a difference. Do you hear me, Mary? <laughs> and that something inside of you is going to change the world. It's going to change the world. And now comes your turn. Your turn. Mary heard these words and heard the angel say, with God, nothing is impossible. And Mary bowed her knee. And she said, she said, be it unto me according to your word. I don't understand it, but be it unto me according to your word. Now, you got to accept it. you got to accept it. If you don't accept it, it'll never be. I can't accept it for you. If you accept it like Mary, you become pregnant <laughs> with the hope of glory my wife talked about. It's the hope of glory, and it's in you, and it's in me, that which can change the world. <laughs> Be it unto me according to your word. <laughs> but but, but uh, I look the same as I did yesterday. Someone would argue. That's just that religion. That's just a, uh, it'll be here today, gone tomorrow. I remember that day when, when I said, be it unto me according to your word. I looked in the mirror of life and I looked the same as I did yesterday. And you might look the same as you did yesterday. 
but I can feel something moving. <laughs> well, all the world is looking at me saying, I'm just that same old guy. I can feel something inside of me. <laughs> I can feel him kicking. I can feel him moving. I can feel another heartbeat. This is not Mary's baby. This is God's baby inside of me. Inside of you. <laughs> and from then on, from then on, you got to walk like you're pregnant. Where everybody else, they want to go and they want to talk this talk. They want to put this substance in them. I got to protect my baby. I can't go to places that I used to go. I can't do the things that I used to do. Because there's something in me. You might talk about me because I don't do what I used to do. You might make me the joke or the uh, 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 laughing stock of the butt of every joke, but I got something in me. I got something in me. And I'm not going to pollute that something in me just to appease you. I got something in me. I can't sit around and do that anymore. You do what you do. But I'm protecting my baby. <laughs> Be it unto me according unto your word. How many are going to protect their babies? Do you even care about what's in you? Do you even care? The Bible said this is a great mystery. Christ in you, the hope of glory, the hope of the world is in you. Are you protected? <laughs> Mary couldn't eat the things she used to eat. I got I to gotta feed my baby. Maybe, maybe I got to stop watching so much news and intake some of this Bible. Maybe I have to put down Facebook and pick up the Bible app. I got to feed my baby. I want my baby to come out malnutrition. My baby to come out polluted with all the fears of this world. Take time to step back. Feed my baby. Feed my baby. Talk to those who've been pregnant before me and tell them, and let them tell me how they did it. I'm just going to run around. I know, I know. The Bible said when Mary was pregnant, she went to her cousin Elizabeth. Her cousin Elizabeth was pregnant before her. Her cousin Elizabeth can help her. Can help her. You go to somebody that's been pregnant before you. Help me walk this walk. Help me care for my baby. I got to feed my baby. I would like to read a couple of scriptures and close in one from the book of 2 Kings. This will be 2 Kings, the 19th chapter, and it'll just be the third verse. And here the children, the people of God was going through crisis, and they wanted to give up. And the Bible says, and they said unto him, Thus saith Hezekiah, this day is a day of trouble and of rebuke and of blasphemy. For the children are come to the birth, and there is not strength to bring forth. It's a sad day. He said these children, they come to the point to be born, and there's no strength. There's no strength. If there's no strength to be, be born, we're talking about stillbirth. There's no strength. <laughs> so apparently they hadn't strengthened themselves for that day. For that day. Something in them to bring forth, something in them to come out, and they don't have any strength to do it. You've got to be strengthening yourself for that day. The baby's coming. Will you have enough strength to push him out? To push out your destiny. To push out your future. Have you played around for nine months doing nothing, and then when that time comes, you have nothing to fight with? He said, this day is a day of sorrow. I didn't have the strength to bring forth. I want to turn now to Isaiah the 66th chapter, and I will read this ninth verse. 
And if I could tie the Bible all together, this would be an answer to them of Hezekiah's day. And this is God speaking. He said, he said, shall I bring to birth and not cause to bring forth, saith the Lord? Shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb, saith thy God? And God says, God says, will I call this thing in you and not give you that which you need? I call you and I qualify you to do the things that I ask you to do. Will I do that? What type of God would I be? And you're thinking, uh, how can these things be? Nothing's impossible with me. I'm going to give you what you need. I wouldn't have put it inside you if I wasn't going to bring it out of you. I wouldn't have gave you the dreams, the visions, the aspirations, the goals. I put it in you. I make you dream. And I'm the one that's going to bring it forth because this is my child. My child. You won't get the glory. I'll get the glory. It's my child. You have to mother my child. Happy Mother's Day. Mary's baby. You have to mother my child. His name is Christ. Jesus said he's the husband and the church is the bride of Christ. The bride of Christ. And we carry his baby. Carry his baby. Are you protected? His baby that's going to change the world. Change the world. It's a mystery that's been kept secret since the foundation of the world. Christ in you. The hope of glory. We miss it because we see Christ in you. And we see Christ like Jesus Christ. Like Christ was his last name. Christ wasn't his last name. Christ is a title. It's the Messiah. The anointed. It's a title. It's the power of God. The glory of God. And that's what's in you. That's what's in me. You know, it's sad because... There are so many people pregnant and not bringing forth. If we would all bring forth, imagine that nursery. Imagine all those babies running loose in the communities, running loose in, in society. It will change the world. You know, we're busy looking up to God. God, help. You won't help us down here. God said, I sent my child. I sent my spirit to put something in you, and you didn't do anything with it. Christ in you, the hope of glory. I imagine Mary having to wait nine months. Seems like a long time. Seems like a long time. You know, in different species and different animals, that gestation period is longer. Elephants. I believe they carry their children for like 21 months. It's a long time. That's a long time. And when it comes to us, it may be nine months for you, maybe two years for me. It might be a longer period for you. It might be a longer period for me. But just walk it out. Just walk it out. It's coming. If it's in you, it's coming out. Just walk it out. Let it get developed. Let it get developed. Let it grow. Let it get a heartbeat. Let it get developed. Don't abort your child. Don't abort your child. <laughs> All of us, we probably are stand up against abortion. Stand up. You had Christians burning down abortion clinics. <laughs> we would stand up and fight for that but you abort the, the Christ in you. You abort the Christ in you. The hope of glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for Mary's baby. <laughs> I thank you for Mary's baby. Lord, I thank you, Father, for the hope of glory. I thank you for these pregnant men and women that I see in front of me today. I don't even know they're pregnant. I don't even know they're pregnant. I wish they'd understand that accepting you is accepting Mary's baby. I don't even know they're pregnant. 
Father, I beg that you'd help them to take care of their child. Take care of that unborn child. Feed him, feed him, feed him. Protect him. Don't put that stuff in your soul. Don't put that in your soul. Feed him, feed him. Don't you feel him growing? I know it's difficult sometimes. You might not look the same, but he's there. He's there. Don't you feel him moving? <laughs> Don't you feel him moving? Stretching his legs and arms, waiting to come forth. Don't you feel him moving? <laughs> Don't you feel that spirit of love overflowing you? Don't you feel his peace? Don't you feel him moving? Mary's baby. Mary's baby. Father, in Jesus' name, protect Mary's baby. <laughs> protect James's baby. Yes, protect Ron's baby. Lord, look at the Cody's baby. <laughs> Lord, see Amy's baby. <laughs> Ron, see Robert's baby. <laughs> see Dave's baby. Lord, feed him, feed him, protect him, and give the strength to bring forth. Father, we praise you. This baby's yours, Lord. This baby's yours. And we give you glory for him even right now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. As we're